there's 30 songs I like better than the Stairway to Heaven. But like growing up, I saw kids in the neighborhood, the older kids wearing the Stairway to Heaven, Zoso t-shirts, and the rock station in Toledo was like, it was the number one classic rock song all the time. And it was just like, I don't like that song. I, I agree with you. I would bet, I would say conservatively, there's 50 Zeppelin songs that I like better right, than Stairway right. to Heaven, and probably more than that. Um, yeah. I like almost every other Zeppelin song. <laughs> right, like right. Stairway to Heaven. Like I turn, if Stairway comes on, I turn it off. I actually listen to it now because I haven't been listening to it for probably 10 years. Yeah, So, right. And the live version is the shit. I mean, it is. It's yeah, great. Right. But, you know, Jimmy Page Live, live is crazy. Live versions are always the shit. Yeah. I had to grow into that, though. When I was younger, I did not like live fucking songs. When I was yeah, I, like a teenager, I was not a big live music fan. No, I wasn't either. I wanted it exactly how I heard it on the album. Exactly, yeah. Which now, when I go to a concert and I see that, I'm like, uh, oh, uh you suck. I could have stayed at home and <laughs> smoked a bone and fucking <laughs> listened to the album, man. I didn't need to fucking spend $40. And I wish it was only 40 Easiest cake, huh? Pie. Easiest pie. Cake is one of those bands where I get angry at them sometimes. You're so close to being really cool. He, what yeah. hurts him is some of his politics. He's definitely way off to the left. He's like, turn the music down because you're using energy. He gets a little carried away. Beyond, you know? beyond that, though, I'm just talking the music. They have some songs where I'm like, fuck yeah! And then they have other songs yeah. where I'm like, ugh. It's a kind of thin sounding. Sometimes it could be like... Just a little more oomph and a little, you know. I there. really, I really, really like some of their songs, and I really, really dislike some of their songs. Well, it's interesting because you know? the more I listen to them, the more I like them. To be honest with you, but my only issue yeah, with them is, yeah, so I, I don't care about his politics so much. I did actually see interviews with him, and I wanted to shoot him in the face, so I don't pay attention to that. But I will say this: yeah, I think it affects their music. A lot a of their stuff, but a lot of their stuff is remarkably similar. I mean, for how good, how much I like it, there there's not a lot of variance in there. One guy on a horn that they got to work into every song. It's it, right, yeah. right. You know, it's it, I don't, not that it's bad. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I love them. You know, and it, I, you know the criticism I'm giving them is, you know, from a fan's point of view. I I, I think they could thicken up the sound though, some, and I and I don't think they will. I have a few bands like that where I'm like. Oh, okay, here's a new song by, you know, Band X, and I could either love it or hate it. But I'll always give it a fair shake because I love and hate some some songs. Yeah. I'm trying to think of an example other than Cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Third Eye Blind, did you ever uh, listen to those guys at all? No, I turned to 30 or deaf to them. <laughs> they, they, had a, they had a couple really good songs. You Don't know, you dare gloss over that. That was fucking good for spur of the moment, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't written down. It wasn't just uh... like that. That's how I'm going to become a star. One line's going to do it, eh? Well, you know, one line at a time, basically. There, there you go. One of them will hit. He'll fix it in post. I'll fix it in post, <laughs> motherfucker. In, in post production, I'm one of the funniest motherfuckers in my generation. Live, I don't impress all that much. You know, very much like I'm really influenced by Mozart and Bach, and it's sort of in between those. It's really, it's like a Mach piece, really. It's What's his name? Sebastian Bach from a band I never liked. Skid Row. Yeah, he is fucking awesome. Wasn't he when they did that super group thing where Ted Nugent and all those guys got together and did a like a, a reality so. show? Yeah. I think he was the singer on that, and he actually he came, was. I, most of it he came across pretty good. It's like a, he diva up a couple times or whatever, and I'm like, look, man, you're in there with you know Jason Bonham and Ted Nugent and somebody. I think it was one of the guys from uh, Anthrax, so like actual musicians, and then there's you from a shitty band that all you can do is sing. And you're going to diva up? I think you might want to calm the fuck down, motherfucker. If you listen to Skid Row and put them in context with all the, the hair metal, they, they were a pretty badass band. I mean, he can really, really sing. And uh, they weren't like the rest of the hair band. Yeah, but, I, I, I don't need probably even know more than one or two songs. You know, I, I definitely lump those guys all together. So. Right, right. He plays this fucking song. That fucking was jamming. But, this but this listen was to uh, listen. really edgy guitar and hard, and I was just like, it wasn't like a hair band. It sounded all. JD like, wants to bust me on something. <laughs> <laughs> thing was but look what you had to say to qualify it it's like well if you put it in context context with the other hair bands and they may well be uh you know they, they may be the best of the hair bands i don't know and i'm not going to pretend like i do because i won't give it the time but i will also say in the musical realm i am least impressed with singers that's just how it is which is funny because when you talk to people and they act like 
that's by far the hardest thing to find a good, it's a good one, front you know, man. Band. And, and I yeah, get, I get know? that. But the thing is, they're also looking for a particular style. You go to UCF right now, and I bet you you could find 300 kids in those, those programs that could sing their ass off. But do they have the look and the attitude? That that's what they're looking for. What, what level of douchebaggery are you going to be able to come up with? <laughs>